the Trailblazer League. You know how it is. Area restrictions, superpowers, crazy XP, and I'm going for an Inferno Cape. So let's go. Welcome and welcome back. Day six of the league. Man, can you believe it's almost been a week? In the last episode, I opened up tier six relic and took ruinous powers and then tried to train my prayer. And I'm going to be real. I'm still a little bit butthurt. <laughs> Why? Why 70 prayer to use Vorkath's bones, man? But I have had the chance to think about it a lot. And oh, hold on. Rather rude of me to face away from you. Where was I? I've put a lot of thought into this, and while I could go and train Prayer today and get it up to 70, I actually am going to need 84 to use the range Prayer. And that is a lot of Prayer XP. So what I'm kind of thinking now, I want to push for the Tier 7 Relic. While all of the Tier 7 Relics are pretty cool and there's a decision to be had there, I actually think the passive effect is really what I need because it's going to increase the XP that I get it's also going to increase the mini game points that I get. So if I decide to go to like Soul Wars, for example, and train my prayer, this is going to make it way better. Now, the next tier of Relic is almost 7000 points away, so it's going to be kind of tough, but I think I can get there. And if nothing else, I should be able to open up my last area on the way there, which will give me access to even more tasks. So I think I can get it, but let's see. I figured I'd start off with some melee training. I want to get both my attack and strength up to 60 because there's a whole bunch of equipment related tasks. I also thought it would pair well with training Slayer, although this is already looking a little bit slow, so I may not keep to this, but we'll see. Either way, 60 attack, 60 strength. That's what I'm going to start out with. If I can get 55 Slayer on top of that, even better. Just picked up a Jelly's task. This should be the first League's task of the day. Oh, we got two and one. Slay 250 creatures and defeat a jelly. Nice. And yeah, I switched off a melee. I think I'm just going to train it separately. So I'm going to grab 55 Slayer so I can get another task and then just go and do that. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, because I got those prayer levels, <laughs> activate smite. There's another one. Ended up staying for the whole task. 59 Slayer. So blew <laughs> way past the 55 that I needed. I was kind of hoping to get a superior because I know that's a task, but no luck there. There is the task for defeating a Turoth. There we go. Leap Blade and Sword Drop. And that'll be a task as well. I know I'm jumping around a bunch and it's not lost on me the fact that I am playing Soul Wars to get the tier seven relic to then play more Soul Wars to train my prayer. Okay, I know it's like a little bit ridiculous, but I've heard that the public lobbies have gotten better. So I want to try because I think it will only take like one or 200 points to get to 60 stats on here, which will likely be faster than me trying to train it. So let's find out are the public lobbies of Soul Wars better than they were like a couple days ago. I don't know, man. I'm watching this. I think it's just going to be no. God, this seems terrible, dude. Like, just look at this. Everybody's just stuck in this corridor over here. God, this sucks, dude. I'm, I don't know who was telling me that this got better, but this definitely isn't better. Wow, what an unfun waste of like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, well, do I at least get like a pretty good amount of XP? All right, well, at least I'm like almost 60 attack. Oh, that was so not fun though. <laughs> so not fun, and I'm gonna do it one more time because at least I got enough points to get the levels. Ugh, God, dude. I don't know if this is worth it. I just, I really don't know if this is worth it. Oh my God, finally a group of us managed to break through that awful, awful, whatever corridor. God, <laughs> this is just the, this is the worst, but at least once you're in the boss pit, it's fine. 94 range, great. Get XP, get points. Ugh, I can't believe it. That's the win a Souls War game task. Oh my God. Oh, not what I was expecting, but hey, you know what? Take it, 300 zeal. <laughs> Give me the 60 strength. There we go, 60 strength. And you know what? While we're here, might as well send some XP into prayer, get us a little bit closer. 60 strength, 63 prayer. <laughs> oh, and I got the task. Okay, I still don't know if it was worth it, but at least the end of that game went well. Now with all those stats, I can equip the Granite Shield for 40 points. Been off to a little bit of a slow start, but I think now that I've got the stats, I've got some things in my inventory, time to blow through some tasks. Equipping an ornamented item for 80 points. Equip a dragon weapon. Use a special attack. 
cast a surge spell and equip a bug lantern. <laughs> okay, there's five tasks down. Getting somewhere. Casting the Edgeville Dungeon Teleport? <laughs> I don't know how you say that. And casting Ice Blitz. Two more tasks down, both of them 80 points. That puts us under 6K to go. Also, since I'm always having money problems, I figured I'd just sell the soul runes. I don't really see myself using them to train or anything. So I'll probably keep a few of them just in case I need them. But let's see how much cash this turns into. Eh, not bad, 300K, I'll take it. And now to immediately blow all of that on Chaos Ruins. <laughs> Goodbye, cash. And then of course, turning all of those Chaos Ruins into Tuckle. Okay, we'll see how far 85k gets me. That's actually not as much as I was hoping. Let's pick up the Zill Ek. Equip that. Oh my god. What a scam buyback price. I Am I only going to get one thing? I'm only going to get one thing. Wow, screw this shop. Oh my god. I bought that thing for 37k. Bought it back for 3k. What? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to come back to this shop later today. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't record it. I was gonna die. Oh my god. I just got 95 range in the middle of the stupid, like, Vorkath poison phase. And it also gave me combat levels, and, like, it was causing me to stop running. God, the panic. The panic. But that, I think, was 200 points. And, of course, you know, because I don't have money, I'm at, at my favorite place. So, <laughs> god. Oh, oh my god, there we go, that should be it. 15 kills without leaving, oh my god, dude, that was, <laughs> that's a lot of kills, that's a lot of stuff on the ground. Oh, money problems are over once again, but don't worry, I'll spend it really quick. First things first, though, I really gotta pick up all the stuff on the ground because some of it's about to despawn, <laughs> so I better hurry. Oh my god, wow, my inventory is totally full. That's kind of lucky. Even after that, I don't think I have enough cash to really do all of the obby stuff quite yet. And I'm also running really low on nature run, so I can't exactly alk all of the dragon hide stuff that's sitting in my bank. So I think I'm gonna shift gears and do some other tasks on my list that hopefully won't cost any money. Eat a purple sweet. Thanks, Marlon. Filling a large pouch, 40 points. Crafting 50 nature ruins, 40 points. Ooh, I blinked and almost missed it. <laughs> Crafting 2,500 essence. There it is, 80 points. And also, obviously, my nature ruin problem is solved, so I guess I'm going to go alcohol of those plate bodies. And now we're back up to a mill, but the obby tasks are still going to have to wait. I don't think it's going to be enough. Well, I was going to make some Fremnic armor, but man, these things are annoying. Look at this. When they get low, they run. And then if another thing tags you, you just, like, you can't finish it off. <laughs> what a weird mechanic. Why? I don't know. I'll stay here for a few minutes to just see how it goes. I mean, maybe once, like, ooh, skeletal gloves. Hey. I guess we'll see. I don't know. Maybe when the aggro runs out, if it runs out, I'm assuming it does after 15 minutes, then maybe this will get a little bit better. Oh my god. This is so annoying. I, yeah, I think I'm going to have to come back here later. At least I sometimes get on the ones that are low, but like, ugh. Why did they make this a thing? Like, why do they run away at low health? This is just the worst. <laughs> no wonder nobody ever uses this Fremnic armor. Can you imagine being a low level and coming out here and like trying to get this stuff? Ugh, okay, let, I'm, I need to stop. This is like, I'm gonna go find some other tasks. Finally building the bank on Fossil Island. Finally unlocking the entire mushroom network as well. Using the bank on Nate is not. Crafting a fire ruin and maybe making combo ruins this time. Oh, that's how I do it. All right, <laughs> figure it out. 40 points. Oh my God, I am really not being efficient. I, I didn't realize these are Arctic pines. I guess I was expecting something snowier. Okay, well, there you go. There's another task. Burning some colored logs. <laughs> Thank you, clues. Finally decided to complete the natural history museum quest thing to pick my hunter level up off the floor. I'm really curious to see how high it goes from this. Hey, 28, and now farming is my lowest skill, which is actually perfect for the next thing. Tears of Guthics. I had been avoiding this because I didn't really want the XP to go into hunter, but farming is kind of a pain in the butt for me right now, so I think it's okay to put some XP in there. All right, moment of truth, how much farming XP? 53k, golly, 40 points for that, and also now 45 farming, holy. Apparently I've never visited the Ruinescence Mine, which is a task, 
Though I suppose it makes sense because who's going to come out here and mine pure essence when you could do something like Soul Wars? <laughs> this is just going to be like so useless. Peak efficiency right here. Uh, locate an altar with a talisman. <laughs> I've been out here like three times already in the last five minutes. And also casting the home teleport as one. I mean, I guess the area teleports must not count. Yeah, I guess not. There you go. <laughs> Ten more points. There's also a task for scraping blue dragon hide. Assuming it's that. Wow, 10 points. You know, I kind of would have figured it would have been more points just because, like, well, I guess Vorkath isn't the only one that drops this, huh? Never mind. I think that makes more sense. Now, personally, I think yous are a better investment, but there is 25 oak stocks. <laughs> only eight tasks away, and I can open up a new area, which should hopefully help continue the momentum here. Move the house to Relica. Move the house to Paul Niche. Craft 50 astrals. Moon Clan Telly, come on, four more to go. Please tell me I have a thieving level for this. Hey, pickpocket a bandit? That didn't, what? Wait, there's a task for that. Oh, it's the bandit camp. Gosh dang it, <laughs> hold on. Dang it bro, why you gotta stun me? Give me the pickpocket, there you go. <laughs> Pickpocketing a bandit in the bandit camp. Mining 30 granite, come on, <laughs> what is it, two more? Two more. Please tell me I don't need the quest for this. Yes, <laughs> catch a Karambwanji. One more, baby, one more. And cutting a cactus in the desert. Yes, that means I can finally open up the next area. The last area. I hadn't exactly planned on going so hard on some of those lower tasks, but man, the list was turning out to be way more annoying. So this is going to help just give an injection of new tasks that I can complete to get the relic unlocked. Now, in terms of areas, you know it's going to be Asgarnia. I've talked about it a couple of times. This area is going to give God Wars. This is where all of the cool, like, end-game range gear is going to be. With things like Arma that can be combined with Missouri from the desert. You'll also have things like the Zeros and Armadil crossbows, so weapon upgrades. All of the God Wars armors, which are going to help, like, my melee is going to be great with bandos. So, enough chatting about it. Let's do it. Last area. There it is. Welcome to Asgarnia. Oh, fresh, fresh tasks. Fresh tasks that aren't quests. <laughs> Time to keep going through the task list. Oh man, I have never been so happy to see Falador. Oh, you don't even know. All of the tasks are getting real long, real complicated, or it's questing and I really don't want to quest. Ah, uh, it feels good. It feels good to be running around a new area. I mean, these tasks, they're just going to be flying in. Entering the Taverly Dungeon, opening up the gate, 10 points. I just love that, you know? There's a blue dragon kill and the black demon kill. Please tell me they have a task for this one too. I didn't actually look. Hey, <laughs> well, it's a combat task. Was it actually a uh, point task? Oh man, no point task. Well, at least it was a combat task. Ooh, entering the crafting guild for 40 points and crafting an air ruin. Oh, and crafting four ruins with one essence. I didn't even think about that. Okay, figured I'd do something maybe a little bit more chill and just do some pest control. I know it's not going to be ideal because I'll get more points after the next tier of relic, but I've been running around doing tasks for like six hours now. <laughs> I need like a little bit of some chill time, you know? Plus there are some tasks associated with each boat uh, wearing the full robes and everything. So I'll probably just be here for a little bit. First game done on the novice boat. Wow, 15 points. That seems like kind of high actually. <laughs> for that boat, are you serious? And the medium boat, 20 points off of the medium. And actually I wonder, I think I can get more points. I'm pretty sure I've done enough combat tasks in order to like get some of the benefits there. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let me grab that real quick because I think I'll get an extra like point or two per game and I'm not sure how that works with the multiplier, but hey, more points is more points. Moment of truth. Oh my God, 25 points. That means it multiplies, dude. That is so many points. Imagine you get on the top level boat and you have like the elite combat achievements done. You're gonna be making like, I, mean, I don't even know, probably like 100 points a game. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Gosh dang, man, I already have over 200 points. I kind of want to dump this into XP and see if I can get above 100 combat so I can get on that high level boat. Oh, I think uh, defense is probably the best way for me to level up my combat. Let me just see, what is the XP gonna look like? <laughs> 400K? Oh my God, dude. That didn't give me a ton of levels, but like, <laughs> that's so much XP. Oh my God. 
again. 80 defense. All right. You know what? I'm going to, I'm definitely going to like do this a little bit more and try to get my combat to a hundred before I go and buy a full void. Cause this is just so fast. Um, wow. I was not expecting that the last XP drop actually put me over a hundred combat. <laughs> I've been going ham, man. This is so much more chill than soul wars. I still have 200 points. I think I had 400 at the start of this. I, you know, I said I wasn't going to train prayer. I kind of want to just put the rest of these points in prayer, and then I swear I'm going to pick up the outfit and then stop because I want to go for the next tier relic. But like, I mean, this is this is so much more chill. Look at that. Oh my god. This is... I'm almost 70 prayer. <laughs> Those workout bones aren't very far away. Holy cow. 1,500 total too. <laughs> Lots of tasks. I mean... This is, this is good, man. This is good. I really like this more than Soul Wars. <laughs> no one has to, like, fight each other and make games just, like, super annoying. It's all very, very quick. Ooh, and a couple of tasks just for doing a game on the big boat. I think it was 80 points for completing the veteran game and keeping the health of the knight above 150 hit points, which I, it's so easy. Everything is just dead all of the time. I swear, if you haven't been out to pest control and you have access to Asgarnia, this is... I'm gonna say it. This is OP, okay? This is just crazy strong. You have to do it. You have to come here. Oh my god, how long have I been here? I blacked out. <laughs> I think I have a problem. Look at that. 2,050 points. Holy cow. I have no need for that many points. <laughs> I think Void is only like 800 or something for the set. Let's find out. Holy, yeah, look at that. I mean, I guess I might as well pick up the other pieces of void too just so i have them i may end up using them i have almost 800 points left i think i'm gonna do it i, th I think i'm just gonna dump them into prayer i would not mind at all coming back here and getting more xp because the points are just so quick so i think yeah I, i'm gonna do it. i'm just gonna dump them into prayer <laughs> why did i end up addicted to pest control man oh let's go <laughs> oh my god 81 prayer holy cow what this is not at all what i was planning oh my god how far off is that even from 84 i mean i might be able to just get there with the forecast bones in my bank oh my lord dude here's the task for full void really quickly <laughs> 80 points for that I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to send it. I think I, I think I can get 84 prayer. I'm like, Asgardian is so OP, dude. What? How big is this XP drop going to be? <laughs> 6.3k per bone. Ah, yes. Finally, finally get to use these. And there it is. 84 prayer. Oh my God. I'm going to go send a Vorkath kill. I just want to see the new prayers in action. Here we are back again. My favorite boss, Vorkath. We got the Void. We got the fancy prayers. Look at that. My only concern is I might get wrecked by his range attack, but let's see. Let's see how it does. 38 max. I think my max before was like 29. <laughs> Okay, wow. You know, I don't think I actually got a single Ruby Bolt spec that hit him in that entire fight. And it was still only a minute, 20 seconds. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. But that is going to be all the time I have for today. I definitely overestimated the number of points I could get. <laughs> Golly, 4,000 until the next relic. So big old failure there, but ended up with 84 prayer, the full void. I mean, I'm excited. I'm ready to kill bosses. I'm probably going to do a bunch of that tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you there.